I had a very close-knit, very, very tight family. My grandmother had 13 kids, so we had a lot of family and like 50, 60 grandchildren, and we all lived in Jersey, relatively in the same area. So every, every time there was something, you know, my entire family was there, and I just knew that everybody's family was like that, you know. And we, we were always there for each other. There was a lot of love. My grandmother was such a matriarch that, like, you know, it just, through her children and then their children, you know, this, this, this love, this, this family structure, this close-knit family structure was, was implanted in all of us. And uh, it really helped to give me the confidence to know, you know, to know that you have, you know, family to go back to is, is a help. And it doesn't always happen biologically. You know, sometimes, you know, God gives you family in other forms. But I was very blessed to have a very strong uh, biological <laughs> family, you know. Um, my brother's so funny. Every day, um, yeah, I just remember a lot of the things that we did growing up. He, as a matter of fact, he, he was my first group. We were a music group together. We were the first group. We had a song called Let's Be Friends, and he played the acoustic, and, and I sang. And it's a pretty bad song, but, <laughs> but you know, those early seeds are planted. You know, they, they were planted, definitely. I would get my books via my mother's reading. <laughs> I would sit there. She, she would read certain books, and I would go, now tell me about it. You know, and I'm sorry that I didn't pick them up myself. I didn't do that until a little bit later. I think as a child, I was into, you know, uh, you know, the Beverly Quimby type, you know, Ramona Quimby. No, Ramona, Beverly, Beverly Clear, Cleary, yes. You know, I mean, and yeah, Ramona Quimby, age eight and things like that. But, you know, I was never an extensive reader until, until late. I mean, I try, you know, not to have a day pass where I don't read something from the Bible, for example. It's like my sustenance to me. If the entire week is a battlefield, you know, it's like reading that is sort of like that parachute with the box of, you know, reserves that comes, you know, in the middle of the war and you have food and water and the toothbrush and toilet paper and you're just like, thank you, you know. So my reading, you know, is definitely, I, I was such a, I was very active. I was always all over the place trying to do a million things, you know, just into this activity. You know, you asked me when I was 14 what I wanted to be, I, activist first. It's my occupation. I am an activist. Yeah, after activist, it was, you know, I, I need to be a doctor, and then I'm, I'm going to minor in law, and, you know, <laughs> this double major, and until I got into college, and I was like, whoa, wait a minute, this is, wait, <laughs> you know, I haven't even picked a major yet, and this is, this is, you know, this is responsibility, and perhaps I should focus, and um, every day is a lesson in focus for me, you know, and not buying into sort of the world's concept of what you have to be, you know, I'm, I'm really try every day to be individual and not just in, you know, my style or my look or my music, but in my, my approach to life, um, you know, even, you know, you know, I don't want to be religious. I want to be spiritual. You know, anybody can be religious. Some people jog religiously, you know, you don't want to be that. You want to be spiritual. You want to have a relationship with God as opposed to doing what everyone else does. And uh, it just, um, you know, it's about having that unique approach and finding out what works for you. And, and if what works for you may not work for someone else, you know. But uh, <clears throat> that's exciting. When they could have easily said no, or we have no interest, you know, we're not going to drive you to this audition. No, you know, we're not going to allow you guys to practice and play the music in the living room. Or, you know, when they could have easily done that, they didn't. And um, just very, very meaningful. I mean, my parents you know, really took a heavy, you know, very serious interest in my creativity from the time I was very young. And not for the sake of, you know, they, they didn't know what would come of it, just because I enjoyed it. You know, and to me, that's a reflection of, of love. When someone can see you enjoying yourself and want to participate or want to encourage or want to help you to do something that you enjoy. You know, it wasn't about making her a star. It was just, hey, she likes to do this, let's support it. Actually, the music became, came before the acting, but while I was doing music, I found myself meeting people who acted, you know, and, and they exposed me to that field. And I was kind of like, hey, all right, I'll try it. 
you know, always thinking, well, music is my first love. And, and I just stumbled. I mean, when I tell you I stumbled upon all this, actually I didn't stumble because there are no accidents, but I did not, you know, I, I didn't have that uh, intense ambition to be a musician or an actress. You know, I just enjoyed it, you know, and if there was an opportunity, hey, you know, I'll go. And by enjoying it, because I loved it, it, it enabled me to, to get better at what I was doing, you know what I mean? Because there was a love behind it. It wasn't like, I've got to do this. You know, there wasn't just, you know, naked ambition. It, yeah, I really enjoyed what I was doing. And all the while that I enjoyed it, I was happy doing it. I was content doing it, whether it was for three squirrels in the park or, you know, for three acorns as compensation. I mean, it didn't, it didn't matter to me. And because we loved it so much, I think that that, uh, was a reflection, you know, to others. I think that they, they saw that, you know, that to me, you know, penetrated the minds and the hearts of people more than, hey, look how well we can play, you know, it was kind of, there was, there was something else that was communicated, you know, by the music and, and, and by the artistry. And that created opportunity.